<clears throat> I should have done this a very long time ago. But life gets in the way. And so here we are two months later and I'm doing my update on the Vivica Fox Clippins. It's Futura hair, I believe, not Futurama like I said in the first video. This is the hair. I just took it out of the drawer. Um, it's been like not in a bag, not... <clears throat> I just threw it in there. So this is it. I haven't touched it. I haven't worn it in about a month and a half. A month and a half. Almost two months now. So... Um, this is it and this is after it's been washed and straightened and curled a little bit so this is the hair I hope you guys can see it unfortunately I did not get a chance to take video of me wearing the hair a lot but I took loads of pictures so that's what's gonna that's what you'll see next and one thing I will say with this hair, texture matching is very, very, very important. Now, when I first started wearing it, I had my hair pressed. I just got it pressed, so it matched perfectly. The hotter it got, the less I could wear it um, because the texture didn't match. As you can see, I, this is me. Um, so there's no way I'm going to like straighten it in the summertime. That's not happening. So I had to stop wearing it. When fall comes, then you know I can put it back in. I even went and bought another package. You guys know I wore it straight when I first got it when I did the video so this is what it looked like then after a few weeks I decided about two weeks I said I wanted to curl it um how I curled the hair this is my curling iron I got about two years ago from Conair um I bought it at Rite Aid it's a regular curling iron it does not work the hair does not curl on its highest setting like we would use it with our hair our human hair um it curled, um, ironically, when I turned it down to like 10, 10 or 15, and it curled beautifully. So the lower the setting, I feel the better the curl. Um, I curled it. There was bounce. It was great. I set it on a rod or a roller or put it to the side. Only used like a little bit of spritz. Since I wasn't looking for an immediate hold, I let it sit overnight. It came out great. I set it on as many rods and rollers as I had on hand and left it overnight took it out this is what it looked like once i combed it out fluffed it and all that it really looked great so then for a photo shoot about a week and a half later i curled it again and it was great and i had left these curls in for about four days so i didn't have to curl it again ever so i said i want it straight again what happens if i wash it how straight can i get it so I washed it thinking that the curls would wash out and I could start from scratch. So I washed the curls in some lukewarm water with some shampoo. Then I conditioned it, added a little bit of softener, thinking that when I hung it up to dry, it would dry straight and I could start from scratch. But no, it came out curled again. So it's a little bit awkward. So I was like, wow, it really holds curl. I haven't seen synthetic hair that really, you know, do this. So I wanted to wear it straight, I straightened it again. And that's, you can see, one side is the curl from washing and the other side is me flat ironing it. And I was able to wear it straight for the next couple of days. And after that, I didn't really wear it too much because the weather started changing. And so the warmer it got, the less I was able to wear the hair. And this is the last picture of me wearing the hair. Um, I wanna say around the beginning of May so that was the last time I wore the hair. So, um, just last but not least, a few things, comments I have about the hair are, um, overall it's great. I really love the hair. I definitely recommend it. Um, only con I have, which isn't really a too big of a deal, is that the more product you use, um, the more like you flat iron it, it thins out a little bit. It doesn't get stringy, but it doesn't maintain its volume that it had when it first got it out the package. But you can always combat that by using more hair um, or leaving more of your hair out, depending on how you how you wear it. Um, it does maintain its shine, so it's very shiny. So if your hair is dry and it does not match, like I said before, the texture matching, 
then you can definitely tell. So um, it's really like high shine, but it's not that fake, you know, it doesn't look cheesy, but it does maintain its shine and its luster. So if this is something you think you would benefit from, then by all means, please go get it. I definitely recommend it. Um, if you have the hair and you've done a video, please leave a video response. Um, if you have any pros or cons, um, comment and let me know. Ask questions. I'll definitely answer. Um, thank you for watching the video. Those that have watched it, those that have liked the video, um, those that have visited my channel, watched my other videos, please like and subscribe to the channel so you can see more. Um, if you have any requests, let me know and I will gladly um, try and fulfill them. So, hope you guys enjoy your day, your evening, whenever you're watching this. Enjoy your summer and I'll talk to you later.